I'm back. Hey, what's you guys? It is your boy Wild Faraki. Pacific Division here is very, very tight. What is it going to look like when the NHL season starts? So there's a lot of good teams in this division. This division has been getting better in recent history. We'll see if they produce this year or not. Let's rank them. And if you guys agree with me or not, comment down below. Let's have a conversation down below in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. Let's do this. All right, guys, here are the eight teams. We all know them. Ducks, Kings, Flames, Vancouver Canucks, Oilers, Starks, Kraken, and the Stanley Cup champions, Vegas Golden Knights. All right, guys, let's rank them. We all know seven and eight, guys. We all know how bad these teams are. This might be the worst team in the NHL this season. I'm going to say the San Jose Sharks are number eight, guys. They just traded the best player away. Eric Carlson obviously went to the Penguins. So Sharks, they're just not good, man. They're really not good. They have a couple good prospects. They have Kakan in the net. Maybe he can step it up. But really, guys, the Sharks are really, really bad. Um, Prospects-wise, they got a couple good ones. But other than that... There's really not much hope for the Sharks this season or the upcoming years. Number seven is going to be basically the same here. It's going to be the Anaheim Ducks, guys. Obviously, they do have Trevor Zegers. They have Troy Terry. They have very, very good players. They have McTavish as well. They do have some good young prospects coming up in their system. But other than that, guys, who else do they have? Yes, they got Alex Kalorn, who will be a good veteran presence for this team. But other than that, the team is not the greatest. John Gibson... It hasn't been great in the last recent uh, game, uh, uh, years, but it might be because the defense has not been up to par as well. But Ducks, they have a bright, they have a brighter future than the Sharks do, but it's still not the best I've ever seen. Number six here. Now these teams get a little, they take a tear up. These guys are so good, but I just still don't think they're good enough. I'm gonna say honestly, the Calgary Flames guys. This team is good. They have some good players, but the team and organization is such like a mess. A lot of the players don't want to be there. Lindholm wants to leave. Noah Hannafin wants to leave. And also, uh, Backlund does as well. Obviously, Backlund isn't the greatest anymore. But Noah Hannafin and Lindholm are very, very good players. Obviously, they're still on the team right now. But they have one year left. So maybe the GM might trade them. Who knows? Obviously, the season's coming up. So I'm guessing they're not going to be traded. But it could definitely be like a trade deadline trade. Who knows? But I just feel like the locker room is just not there. They do have good players. And Huberto, Kadri is still there. Mark Trump, he should be taking the next step. Hopefully, we said the last couple of years, he's not shown uh, shown that at all. So Flames, I just think the locker room is just a mess. It's just not good morale in the Flames organization. So that's why I'm going to have a mess six. Number five here is honestly going to be the Vancouver Canucks. I like this roster. I say this every single time I talk about the Canucks. I like this roster. They just need a buy-in together. They need JT Miller to play some defense. They need Pedersen to keep They need Pedersen to keep going. They need Besser to get back to his former self. We need Quinn Hughes just be elite like he is like we know he is then you need Demko to stay healthy guys if he can stay healthy this goalie is very very good they have a good young team and Canucks are exciting to watch they just can't put it together full uh first full year of Rattake we'll see how he can do but I like this team I think they can do big things obviously it's a tough market to play for and they expect big things and I think they might show that uh, to us this year number four guys is gonna be the Seattle crack and I really like this roster but I feel like they didn't add too much to get better I still like their team they have a lot of depth on the team like every one of them bought into this team just like the Knights did they bought in and they won some games they made it to the second round last year game seven they could have maybe got to the third round that would have been absolutely sick if they beat Dallas but this team is good they don't have any superstars the best player is what Jared McCann who put a 40 can he recreate that he probably can he's a very very good sniper but other than that do they have a superstar on their team like these other teams do no they do not but they have a lot of good second line players third line players that bought in and they all can and honestly they all can really score man they got all score the puck and they buy into the same system very very good team so i like that hopefully grubauer can stay consistent like he was last year number three here guys these teams are a very good toss-up because they're all pretty damn good but i'm gonna say the la kings and the only reason i'm saying them at number three is because the goaltending issue there they have a really good team on paper besides the goaltending cam talbot and phoenix coffley is their goaltenders and yes cam talbot has shown good uh, seasons in the nhl but last season in ottawa yes he had a couple injuries as well but he just was not good enough for that team and that's why the ottawa centers did not perform uh as they should have but he's a big question mark yes he did good in minnesota but he's a big question mark right now and the kings they don't have the best defense in front of him either. Obviously, it's better. It's not horrible defense. Obviously, that's why uh, I think Corpus Salo did play so uh, very well last year because the Kings defense actually played pretty damn solid in front of him. So if they could do that, 
I don't mind this. And if he plays solid and makes the saves he needs to make, I think they can go two to maybe even one in this division, guys. I just think goaltending might be an issue. They got more goal scoring, obviously. Pierre Luc Dubois, I think he's going to be a huge, huge addition. I think he plays Kings hockey and hopefully he can stay happy and not ask for a trade three weeks into the season. Hopefully that does not happen. But obviously, you still have Kopitar, you still have Kempe, you still have some really good players, you still have Dowdy on the back end. So this team is very, very good still. Just goaltender might be an issue. Number two here, guys, is going to be the Vegas Golden Knights, the Stanley Cup champions. I think they're going to take a little hit. I still think they're going to be really, really good. Stanley Cup hangover, that is a real thing. We'll see if it affects the Golden Knights. I would not be surprised if they do get first, obviously. I'm just going on a limb here and say uh, Mark Stone is not going to be playing. Probably He'd probably be playing, what, 40, 50 games this year, if that, since his back injury. Um, we need Jack Eichel to stay healthy, and he could probably produce, hopefully, more uh, than, what, 65 points or something like that. He needs to do better than that. But this team has very, very good depth. Um, goaltending issue might be a thing here. Obviously, Aiden Hill, very, very good playoffs, but can he recreate that? Who knows? I, will, I do honestly think uh, Thompson will take over the net and keep that net as long as he can stay healthy. But defense, obviously, still very, very good. Um, so hopefully that can stay intact, but forwards depth, they need to keep doing that, uh, to keep that third line, fourth line going. Obviously, if Barbashev can keep that chemistry with March, so and Eichel, that'd be ideal. But this team is obviously really, really good. Back to back is definitely a chance, guys. That'd be absolutely sick. Number one, that means it's the Edmonton Oilers, guys. We all know how good this team is. But at the same time, are they that good? Yes, goaltending issue again. Stuart Skinner, Jack Campbell, are they going to be good enough? Stuart Skinner, I think he will take the crease as long as he can do it in playoffs because last year he did not show that. But top six definitely got better. Connor Brown is going to be a huge, huge question mark for this team. Low risk, high reward for sure for that guy. Um, as long as McDavid stays healthy, Dry Saddle stays healthy, uh, Nugent Hopkins keeps producing, even uh, Evander Kane can stay healthy. This team is very, very good. Evan Bouchard, he needs to take the next step because he's already he's, he's he's basically a superstar, man. That guy is so, so good on the back end. Darnell Nurse, he's, he's Darnell Nurse, man. But this team, I think they're built for the really good season if the goalies can stay consistent and everyone stays healthy. This team is very, very good. Come playoff time, can they beat the Knights? Who knows? But that is my Pacific Division teams, guys. Do you guys agree with me or not? Comment down below. What would you change? I will be doing my final, final standings, playoff predictions, all this kind of stuff in the next coming weeks before the season starts. So make sure to hit the subscribe button for you, guys. Thank you for being here. Once again, guys, I'm back. Thank you guys for much for being here. Leave a like, subscribe. It really does help a lot. Be great. I'll see you guys later.